Tekken 8 has been out for seven days. And in this week, people have gotten into ranked, labbed their characters, and gotten thrown by King. Everybody, without fail, is getting thrown by King. So, I'm here to give you a full holistic guide on how to deal with that. But I know you want to hop back into ranked ASAP, so let's go over this quick cheat sheet first before I go into all the detail. I'm going to cover this as quickly as possible, giving you enough detail to understand what's going on. The first one, arm breaker and heel hold. These are two chain throws, and I've sorted all of these options in the order of King's most threatening options. Okay, so you might not see these in this order, but these are the most dangerous ones, so keep these in mind. Okay, so what does this throw look like? Both arm breaker and heel hold look like this. And if you saw my previous videos, you would think, oh, both arms are coming out. That's a one plus two break, right? I hit both punch buttons. No, the arm break will always go off even if I hit this one plus two. And if he hits this throw, this happens to me. Just look at his arms, Forsan. Just look at his arms. This is the rolling they death cradle. It has done about 110 damage to me. 100 damage. I took 100 damage from a throw. We don't want to deal with that. So, even though it looks identical, we're going to make the assumption that you ate the first throw. Okay, assume you didn't break the first throw. What do we do? Chain throw hits. I'm mashing two. I see him breaking my arm. Look at the input display on the left. I'm mashing two. That's how you get out of the rolling death cradle. Yes, this is a three-stage throw, but by the time you kind of visually recognize it's happening, especially as a beginner, you might not be able to break the second throw. So I'm giving you the third one, the most important one. 99% of the time, just break this throw and look how much damage you take. 40 damage. That's like a regular throw. That's okay. We can deal with that. No. All right? <laughs> Second throw that looks identical again. The heel hold. Forty-three damage. The arms are coming out. Again, if I break one plus two. If you break it correctly, me. forty-three damage. If he damage. gets this second stage off. We can deal with that. I'm doomed. Delusional Tekken players. He gets right? the King's Bridge here. Absolute delusional. Eighty-five damage. That's like almost half HP. How do we break the King's Bridge? If I see him grab my heel, I'm mashing one plus two. Both punch buttons. Kicks him off here, does a bit of damage, but most importantly, I don't die. And that's what we really care about. I did not die. I did not take that much damage. Look at the health bars. Doing okay. All right. We'll talk more about the throws in more detail, but I want to go to the next two right away. Giant Swing and Tomahawk. These next pairs of throws also look identical, but look differently from the last two. You see both of his arms are coming out, right? But it's different. And there's some little blue sparks. Let me break one plus two. Because I saw both hands come out. Why am I swinging in a circle? The giant swing is a one break. And not only is it a one break, it does insane amounts of damage. If your back is to the wall, it does even more damage. First things first, giant swing is a one break. I just said that. She kicks him off, no damage. So fucking party, retarded, right? Good. One other trick Are is if you get hit to by the giant swing, or something that's because not it is retarded. a true 50-50 between this and the shining wizard, what? the tomahawk, mash your buttons so that you tech roll on wake up. When you land on the ground here, doing this tech roll is not just for style, okay? You actually reduce the damage you take. So if you're stuck swinging a circle, I literally, I play on arcade stick, okay? I play on arcade stick, and when that throw hits me, I take both hands off of the stick and just start mashing these buttons. That's what I do. So I recommend doing the same. You're not gonna move. There's no movement to do. So do that. The other throw that looks identical, just to prove that point, look at his hands. They look the exact same as the giant swing. This is a one plus two break. You can tell it happened because he kneed me in the face. These are a true 50-50. King has true 50-50 throws, and you just have to know or guess what he's going to do. You have to know that that's what the animation looks like, and then guess whether you're breaking one plus two or one. There are some context clues you can use. Talk about those later. Last in the series of chain throws, or what I call any other chain throw. <laughs> These are the really, really long ones, and you'll see these often in beginner ranks because they made the inputs really easy. The king player is pressing either one or two to pick the next chain throw. There's not a lot of complicated inputs. He's just pressing left punch or right punch. So you as the defender are doing the same. Either you press left punch or right punch. Here I just spammed left punch and I got out. You just guess. It's a 50-50. Okay? Not okay, actually. Not okay at all. Immortal Death, Mochi, Zinidar, Wild Zeet, Astrodan, and Botas. Thank you, boys. Welcome back. Five years on Coke DLR. Thank you for the five years. Kind sir. No, thank you, sir. 